is it basically a micro HDMI or something like that? Yeah, or? it's just micro HDMI and micro USB. That's it. Just a normal micro right, so HDMI. The HDMI will have the audio and video that you saw. Yeah. And the USB is the USB. Once you dock it, it goes into a USB host mode. Right. That's how you can dock. That's how you can connect USB keyboards, USB mouse, and USB yeah. mass storage devices. Is it sort of hard drive? Can, can I use this setup to upload all my videos, HD videos, to YouTube? Is it going to be just as fast as a normal laptop? Um, that depends on what laptop you're comparing it to. I mean, a normal laptop could be a you know, dual core 1.4 gigahertz. An Atom, for example. Like a, a what? Like an Atom. An Intel Atom. Atom. Something like an Intel Atom speed, or it really depends on your internet connection, right? All right. It's and hard to do those kind of comparisons unless you baseline everything else. How about the flash support video? Is that is there a resolution that you can support? Can you support 720p? So we can play 720p, but it's not the best experience. We recommend 480p and lower, full screen, that is. All right. How about the desktop view? How high resolution is that uh, desktop? Right. So what we're showing around here is up to 720p, which is just 1280 720p. The the dock itself, the laptop dock, is 1366 by 768. But if you have a standard 4x3 screen, we'll go up to about 1280 by 1024. 1280 by 1024. 1024. So that's uh, what you would on the TV. You can have a desktop like that, right? Yes. Kind of. That's cool. That's really There's awesome. no additional processing in the dock. The dock is truly a dock. The dock so is truly a dock. Resolution, mo visual mode support to any display is going to still be a that's correct. In fact, if, if you look, at, if you take this apart, which I've done, yeah. this, this HDMI is just straight through to this, right? But uh, the majority of the circuitry is actually for the USB hub that's built in there, right? For uh, the mass storage devices, keyboards, mice, and all the other things. That you so, you know, digital cameras, um, external hard drives, thumb drives, etc. Stick it in there, right? So, and I also forgot to mention printing. We also print. Print. Cloud printing. Network printing. Network so we'll print to network printers, IP-based printers. So you you I should have mentioned that. I should have mentioned. Should have mentioned that. So you totally targeting uh, like uh, what's it called enterprise. They should buy. Not just enterprise, but I think consumers obviously need to print as well, right? Um, but there there are enterprise solutions. Another thing I didn't mention up there was that we have Citrix receiver built in, and uh, he's been demoing it over there. But he's got a full Windows. Uh, virtual machine running in there. You can see the performance, it's quite good. So you can run Microsoft Word, everything you want? Through the Citrix receiver, through a uh, IT managed Citrix nice. cluster. So basically something. you have the browser. What, what other kind of app do you think people might want to have? That's it? That's enough? Like in, in terms of desktop experience? Well, are you thinking about other apps? We didn't want to create a whole new environment with a whole new set of apps. I don't think anybody wants to do that. Right? If, you, if you give everybody just a Linux environment, then it becomes too clustered, too... too too messy to deal with, right? So, what's familiar to people? Mozilla is the second most popular browser, right? Uh, Internet Explorer than Mozilla Firefox. So we put an entire. We worked with Mozilla, obviously, and it's, that's why it was still branded Mozilla Firefox, and uh, are able to give the user a full Mozilla Firefox 3.6.13. We've been keeping up with all the updates. Um, experience. Awesome. So, and everything that comes with 3.6.13. So all the add-ons, all the theming, the skinning. I should have applied a skin before we started, but. You know, how about the video codecs? Uh, can you play 1080p, 60 frames per second, every codec, high profile? Uh, you can check the NVIDIA yeah. uh, Tegra 2 specs to figure out All right. what because our capabilities are. It's a different NVIDIA Tegra 2 compared to the one that's used in bigger tablets, right? It's a that's different, correct. Uh, uh, that's different than our tablet. Our tablet uses a T2, and this uses an AP28. But they're both part of the Tegra 2 family. So uh, how many tabs can you have open? And, uh, how many uh, things can you run? Well, we'll tell you when you start running out of memory. But that's one of the reasons you have a gigabyte of RAM. Uh, when you start opening a lot of windows, a lot of tabs, a lot of flash instances and whatnot, your memory will start running low. Um, obviously, the Android memory killer will do its thing and start closing uh, Android apps, etc., in order to free up more memory. But at some point, we'll throw up a message to say you're running low on memory. You should close some uh, tabs. So are you using this one exclusively right now? Yeah. Like your computer? That's yeah, your computer I don't use right my now. Computer. It's my computer. This is your computer. For how long have you been using this? Can you do programming Very on that? Long or time. Do you do that? Or uh, programming? Well, again, the Citrix receiver lets you do everything, right? Because once you log into a remote machine, you, a remote virtual machine, you can do anything you want. Yeah, we built, it's uh, preloaded. I forgot to mention it up there. It's preloaded with Citrix receiver. So you, uh, for Enterprise, you can just click on uh, a link, go to your Citrix machine. He's demoing it over there, um, and you, you know, throw up a whole Windows 7 or Windows 
and do anything you want from there. And it's quite fast. It's, it's a quite a usable experience. So on the smart accessories, how do you do you see that as being an opportunity for carrier partners? Do you want to sell through Motorola businesses? Any any thoughts about how those will actually go to market? Um, I'm probably not the right person to ask that. Okay. So in terms of functionality, that's really your your focus. Right. So you can see, I can access all of my Android apps. So why do you see it being sorry? So, like, so you see it being so you see the you see the smart accessories, the initial sets, HD HD dock, and the and the web top, trying to remember your terminology, um, as, as kind of the um, As you can see, you, you now have tabs, which is something that you don't right. normally see in Android. Right, and this so is the I first product that I have. Switch between. This is something we're going to do and then stop doing. Sure. Obviously, there's a lot of excitement over it. We think it solves a real user need and a real enterprise need. So, this, this the is the first thing. Right. I'll leave my card. What does the Google people think about this? I can't comment on that. But you, you showed it to them. I did not personally show it to no? them, so that's why I can't comment. All right. Do you, do you personally think it's going to replace Windows and uh, Intel? I shouldn't comment on that either. <laughs> Just sorry. Active. Right. And if I were to get on a plane, what I would do is I would dock this in. There's no boot up time. I have automatic access to my email, automatic access to all of my websites. If you have Google Mail, so it wrote a roll over use Google. So I can actually go on to my email here, reply to an email, just click and add a You can connect via Wi-Fi or you can connect um, via the tethering plan. Okay, and what about this dock over here? Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undock from here. I'm gonna give it a second. So right now what we were in was the web top application. Right. Can I get you guys to come around from here? Let's go through there. Huh? USB. So what we have here in the dock, ah, sorry, it's taped down, but this is the dock. It has a uh, HDMI cable at the back, three USB ports, power and uh, audio out. Yeah, it's, it's, let me see if I can move it out a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. Alright. Thank you. So there it is. Thanks a lot. So, the other thing we, uh, we saw in the demo, we'll give you a quick, uh, brief, quick show of, is, is the entertainment center. Um, no, this, this is So you can see, you can use the phone turns into a remote, or you can use the remote that comes with the dock. You can see it flip through. We could go into a video here. You got it. Exactly. And you're rendering full, full HD video right off of your smartphone. So the, we showed your video. Um, the entertainment center also does pictures, it also does music. So you take pictures of uh, your kids, you want to show them on your TV, you dock it, you go in the entertainment center, you go and show them all your pictures. Uh, what's really great about it is it is your phone. So there is no computer behind there. As you saw, I went between devices and it's all right here. It's all right on, it's right on one device that's always with you. And that's uh, model of the HX for Can we dock it back in the laptop again? Here. Yep, let me go to... So this is my mobile view. I'm going to get out of here. Now I'm in ESPN.com. I can also access my web-based email. And respond to it. <laughs> can access all real-time. If I want to go back to my mobile view, or if I want to make a phone call, I'm going to click here, and let's say I want to send a text message. And 
let's say I want it in full screen. That's the way to send the SMS. Yep. It's good. Sending a text message. Yeah. That's not the one this, to bang uh, out a text spray, not the one thumb, yeah. the hand on the wheel, yeah, right. No, no, no. Is there any way to tilt this or it just ducks in like that behind? Yep, yeah, just ducks in like that. It doesn't fall off? It doesn't fall off? Yeah, it's just uh, Yeah. Well, I don't know, what are you doing with it? No, I don't <laughs> and if you close the screen, it goes in standby? If you close the screen? It goes back there. Yeah, it'll go back here. But it's, if you notice, it's the same place that I was at yeah. before. Do you know how heavy it is, the laptop? It's not heavy? It's not heavy. I don't have the exact weight, but it's as light as a MacBook Air. Alright. Cool yeah, so the remote a little bit? So I can see the comparison with the Yeah, so the remote controls the